Hi, this is David. Today I'm going to talk about the spelling and grammar checking in Microsoft Word. If you're a longtime user of Word like I am, you're probably already aware of this because the spelling checker has been in there for decades and the grammar checker, while not quite as old, has still been there in there quite a while. Uh, in order to use the grammar checker, you need to go to the review ribbon at the top. And I've got a document here that I've opened up. This is a technical article that I recently wrote, and I wrote it in Microsoft Word, and I deliberately put a couple of errors in here. So, for example, you see the word information is misspelled, and then here in this article, I will shows how this can be. So I've got a grammatical error as well. And this highlights the fact that you can choose whether or not you want to do just spelling or spelling and grammar. And the way we do that is over here on this button right here, where it says spelling and grammar. There's actually a drop-down list. And you can specify, do I want to do just the spelling, or do I want to check? So just check, catch this error, or do I also want to catch that error? Now, I, I typically want to do both, so I always leave it to spelling and grammar. And I can click this button, or the it doesn't say it here, but the F7 key has always been <laughs> the shortcut key for this. So I could press F7 as well, and that's kind of in my muscle memory. But I'll click the button here, and this dialog on the right opens up, and I can see that information is misspelled, and it suggests, you know, maybe it actually should be spelled like that. So I can either ignore it or ignore all spellings of it. Maybe it's a proper name that's... Uh, uh, not, I don't want to add to my dictionary, but for these purposes, it's okay. And this it'll appear multiple times in the document. But anyway, I'll click that, and it'll automatically correct it. And it comes down to this grammatical error at the, where the verb does not match the subject, and it tells me that, and it says, you know, you really shouldn't use shows; you should use show, and so on. And this is just a great tool here. However, um, not everything. Do I want to have checked by the spell checker or the grammar checker? Yeah, I want to make sure that I'm spelling words like information correctly, but I've got, in this article, I've got some code samples. I write a lot of documentation that has to do, that shows how to write code. So, for example, right here, this is a, a section of code. This is a variable name right here. Down here, I've got the name of a table right here, the name of a function. Well, these things aren't going to be in my dictionary. They're not English language words. So I want to uh, tell Word not to check these things. I want to skip. In fact, I'd like to skip this entire section when I'm doing the spell check, this entire thing right here. Is there a way to do that? Yes, there is. And the way I do it is also on the Review tab. Over here, we have a button that says Language. And if I click the drop down on that button, I can say Set proofing language right here. And then this, the um, the way that uh, I've used this in the past is by setting the language to English United States. That's almost always what I want, but if you happen to be uh, targeting a different audience, you may write it in some other language. In fact, there are even variations of language. For example, Arabic, you can see that there are multiple dialects of Arabic here. There are even multiple dialects of English. There's UK English, and there's... Uh, Australian English and etc. A bunch of different variations on that. Uh, things like the word flavor, for example, might have a be spelled O U R at the end or O R depending upon which variation you click. So that, that's the traditional way I use this. But there's actually a, a feature here that I only recently learned about, which is this button right here. Do not check spelling or grammar. And what that does is, if I highlight a section like this, and I tell it. With this highlighted, then I go into language, set proofing language, and check that button. It will say it will tell Word that the highlighted section right here should not be checked for grammar. And I can do that for all of the code sections of this document. Here. And when I when I save this document, it'll remember those preferences. I probably don't want this table here as well because there's some code words in here. Okay, and so on. And that's good enough for now. So now when I do the spelling and grammar check, yeah, it's going to check some of the things that are inside of the paragraph here. That one's okay. I'll, I will ignore it. Uh, and I'll ignore that and that and that. But you see it's going to skip over this. Like these are clearly misspelled words. But when I go to the next one, it's not going to stop on that. It didn't stop on this P1 or pack underscore array, even though those are clearly misspelled words in here. Uh, and then go on down. I probably should do all these things and set them up as ignore
on this. And when I say this and I go to spell check later on, open this document later, it will remember my preferences, what I want to check for spelling, which is most of the actual text of the document, uh, and what I want to ignore, which are the code samples in this case. You, this is David. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you.